friends, my name is Atlasi Francis. Welcome to Networks. In this video, we are going to see how to configure Smurf attack. If you have any doubt about the Smurf attack and any other ethical hacking topic, please visit the link in the description box. Uh, I have wrote everything about the Smurf attack and map floating attack. Okay. So in this lab, first we are going to assign the IP address on the server and on this PC. After that, we are going to uh, continue with the uh, trunking uh, and uh, routing. After that, we are going to configure smart setup. So first, we configure the IP address. The IP, the address is uh, 192.168.1.20 1.22. This address is for servers, IP 192.168.1.20. Ask. And the default gateway is 192.168.1.1. Same way, we are going to configure on server 2 IP 192.168.1.21.255.255.255.0. Default gateway. Okay. On server 3, IP 168.1.22. Enter. Okay. So now we have successfully configured the IP address on these uh, servers. Now on these PCs, the range is 192, 168.1.10 to 1.30. Okay, starting from PC1, IP 192.168.1.10. The fourth gateway on PC2, IP 68, 1.10, 1.11. And 1.1. Okay, on PC3, IP dot 12, and the default gateway on PC4, mask and the default gateway. Okay. Now let's bring from PC4 to PC1 means from 192.168.1.30 to 192.168.1.10. Bring from PC4 to PC1 can see the reply. Okay. Now we try from from server one to server three. Then two one sixty eight one dot twenty two. Okay. The reply is coming. Okay. Now we are going to ping from e, uh, server one to PC four. In one dot thirty, you can see the reply is coming from PC four. Now everything is working fine on our LAN network. Now let's configure the static routing, static routes uh, between this router one and router two. Okay. Okay. So configure terminal. We have on router four. We have uh, two interfaces: one serial and one is fast. So interface serial four slash zero. The IP address one dot one dot one dot one mask. Okay. No shutdown. Exit interface. 
passes. We turn that C, uh, it looks like zero. The first pass times it looks like zero. The IP address is 192, 168, 1 1.1. This is the default gateway for our WAN network. Zero. No. No shutdown. Let me write uh, the static route to IP route uh, 1.0.0 dot 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 zero and the next stop is 1.1.1.2. One dot one dot one dot okay, another one is IP route 192.168.2.0 which is our this Kali Linux address okay subnet okay uh, and the uh, okay now that the for the for gate uh, sorry next uh, and the next stop is one dot one dot one dot two okay so now we are going to configure the router two Interface serial zero, zero. The IP address is one dot one dot one dot two, and the mask is no step down exit, and the interface is fast net zero zero. zero. The IP address is one ninety two one sixty eight. This is 192.168.2.1, which is the default gateway for Kali Linux. No shut down. Okay. Here, IP route uh, 1.3.0.0, 5.3.0, .0 and the default gateway 1.1.1.1. Again, IP route for the network 192.168.1.0 mask and the next stop is 1.1.1.1. Okay. Now we are going to IP route static. Okay. Now start our machine, the Linux console, MD. Now our Kali Linux is put up. Now first, uh, first uh, we are going to assign the IP address. The IP address is 192.168.2.25. Uh, so let's assign it. Now network and we are connected with Ethernet zero setting IPv4 manual the IP address is one ninety two one sixty eight two dot twenty five and the mask is two five five dot two five five dot 55.0 and the default gateway is 192, 168, okay, okay, huh? and uh, 2.1. So I apply, cancel this. No? So, okay, now we are going to ping from 192.168 from 2.0 subnet 
one dots of box. Thing 192, 168, 1.10. You can see the reply is coming from this PC. Okay. Now we are going to ping from this Kali machine to this server and see the network is working fine or not. Let's see. Now ping 192, 168, or 1.10. 20. This is our server address. See? The Kali can ping from 192.168.2.1 subnet to 192.168.1.1. 1 1. So now everything is working fine. So our target is this, uh, this server. We are going to chalk this server and make this server mm, almost dead. Okay. So before implementing this, uh, now first we are going to ping from this server to this piece uh, to this charging uh, machine. Ping one nine one sixty eight uh, two twenty five. You can see the reply is coming from the charging Linux machine. Okay. Now we are going to apply the Wireshark to capture the traffic. First, we are going to capture from this between routers, and uh, another one we are going to capture the traffic from here. As you can see, now as, uh, everything is working fine. Now we are going to attack from here. Okay. So first, uh, then three, from one, plug, and the IP address of the victim, 192, 168, uh, one dot twenty, and the uh, the broadcast broadcast will be one ninety two one sixty eight one dot two five five. Okay. Now we will see on this. Uh, you can see we are capturing the traffic. You can see the replies. Okay, and you can see the ICMP packets everywhere. All the machines are trying to ping the victim and getting replies. So this is how you can uh, chalk this uh, server. Let's see on the server. Server one. Let's try to ping uh, this uh, PC one. One dot ten. You can see the queue is full. Queue is full. And soon this uh, server will close down. And will almost dead. Again, we try to ping. Soon, this will uh, this will the server will close down. So now the question comes: How to prevent these attacks? A smart attack. Okay. So for prevent these attacks, first uh, we go to the routers on router one. Router one. And configure terminal. The interface is uh, surface is serial, post slash zero. And here we type no IP broadcast. You see, 
and the uh, another command is uh, ip verify unitas source um, reachable via rx and uh, allow default and allow self pair allow uh, self pair okay that's it now we will see on this you can see now our now our switch is working fine oh sorry our link is working fine now we are not capturing any icmp traffic so let's see on the server our server queue is still full or not Okay. Can you see the reply? Everything is working fine now. Let's see on our Kali machine. You can see I have not uh, stopped this machine, it is still working. But uh, we prevent this attack on this router. I hope you like this video. Uh, uh, if you like this video, please give a thumbs up. And uh, thank you so much for watching this video. And uh, if you want to learn about the ethical hacking, I'm going to upload a series. Please make sure you subscribe this uh, channel. And thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, of course, one more thing. You will see the, the ICMP package is still uh, getting, uh, router one is still getting this uh, packet, but Router 1 is not forwarding this ICMP packet in our LAN network. So this is how you can prevent these attacks. Okay, if you try to capture from here. Okay, yes. If you try to capture from here. You will not see an ICMP messages. Okay. You see, you will not see the ICMP messages here. See. These are the old messages. This is here. You will not see any ICMP messages. Okay. So this is how you can prevent these attacks. And the command is here. Uh, router one. See, RP verify. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you next time.